Outline of the Control System. This e-learning contains contents designed for the staff and students at academic and research institutions to understand basic aspects of the security export control. The security export control is indispensable in conducting international educational and research activities that accompany transfer of technologies or export of goods. For specific procedures, please be sure to properly implement them in accordance with the rules of each academic or research institution. As a result of screening at each academic or research institution, the license from the Minister of Economy, Trade and Industry may be required. In this course, we will discuss the outline of the Security Export Control System. Production of this video is based on information available as of March 2018. Check the Security Export Control and other pages on the METI website for the latest information, as the information provided is frequently updated. Outline of the Control System Transfer of technologies and export of goods that are subject to the control in Japan are set forth by the Foreign Exchange and Foreign Trade Act. Japan enforces two types of control. They are list control and catch-all control. Both types of controls require the license in advance from the Minister of Economy, Trade and Industry to transfer or export control technologies or goods. The control system is organized in two aspects. They are the destination or end user of the transfer of technologies or export of goods and the items to transfer or export. If the technologies or goods are subject to the list control with which the technologies or goods that are advanced enough to be diverted to military use are set forth by cabinet or ministerial orders, license application for the Minister of Economy, Trade and Industry is required. If there are potential security concerns about the end user or end use, including suspected involvement in the development of or related activities for WMD or conventional weapons, the license of the Minister of Economy, Trade and Industry may be required by the catch-all control. However, the license application with catch-all control is not required if the destination is one of so-called white countries, such as the U.S. or Germany. List Control List Control is the system that requires a license of the Minister of Economy, Trade and Industry in advance regardless of the destination or end use in transferring or exporting advanced technologies or goods that can be potentially diverted to use in programs of WMD and conventional weapons. To determine whether or not the technologies to transfer or goods to export are deemed to be subject to the list control is called classification. The Goods Technologies Integrated Matrix Table that lists the controlled items and specifications is available in Excel format at the METI website for download of the latest table. List Controlled Items now, you can see the specific items controlled by the list control on the screen. List controlled items 2. You can check the details of these items in the Goods Technologies Integrated Matrix table that I explained earlier. Catch-all control The catch-all control consists of WMD catch-all control and conventional weapon catch-all control. 
Catch-all control is a system that requires exporters to apply for a license from the Minister of Economy, Trade and Industry in advance in case exporters have come to know that the technologies to transfer or goods to export could be used for the development of or other related activities for WMD or conventional weapons. To judge whether or not the item is subject to the catch-all control, exporters have to verify if there are any security concerns about the purpose of use of the end user and the trade counterpart or the end user or not. A prior license from the Minister of Economy, Trade and Industry is also required if the exporters are informed by the minister that the license application is required. This is called informed condition. With catch-all control, you have to keep in mind that almost all non-list control technologies and goods are subject. You can check examples of the goods that are highly likely to be used for programs of WMD or conventional weapons, which is called commodity watch lists, in the METI website. Items to be verified under Objective Condition What needs to be verified under Objective Condition with catch-all control will vary depending on which control, WMD or conventional weapon, is applied and on the destination country or region. However, as I mentioned earlier, the license application with catch-all control is not required if the destination is one of the so-called white countries, such as the U.S. or Germany. Now, let's look at what needs to be verified with WMD catch-all control. If the destination of the export or transfer is a non-white country or region, you need to verify two aspects the end-use condition, and the end-user condition. The end-use condition means to verify whether or not the subject technologies or goods are used for WMD programs. The end-user condition means to verify whether or not the subject importer or end-user will or had been involved in WMD programs. METI lists such organizations as enterprises or universities that are concerned to be involved in WMD programs as the Foreign End User List, which is published on the METI website. If you insist to transfer technologies or export goods to such an organization as listed in the Foreign End User List, license application is required unless it is obvious that these technologies or goods will not be used for WMD programs. Now, we look at what needs to be verified with Conventional Weapon Catch-All Control. If the destination of the export or transfer is a non-white country or region, you need to check the end-use condition, with which you need to verify whether or not the technologies or goods will be used for programs of conventional weapons in the destination. Transfer of Technologies Subject to the Control for export of goods, the acts of shipping or bringing goods across the national border are subject to the control. For transfer of technologies, the subject acts of transfers can be distinguished into two types. First, let me explain the transfers subject to the control from the personal aspect. In this aspect, the acts of transferring technologies from a resident to a non-resident are deemed to be the transfer of technologies set forth by the Act. For example, such acts of residents as conducting transfers of technologies to non-residents associated with the research instructions or skill training will be included. We will discuss definitions of resident and non-resident in the next slide. Now, let me explain the transfer subject to the control from the geographical aspect. In this aspect, the acts of transferring technologies across the national border to end users in other countries, whether or not these end users are residents or non-residents, are deemed to be the transfer of technologies set forth by the act. 
For example, such acts as providing technical information from Japan to the international joint research partners through phone calls or email will be included. Also, such acts of bringing out technology data to a foreign country on a USB drive for the purpose of transferring them as well as uploading such data to servers in other countries are deemed to be the transfer of technologies set forth by the Act. For bringing out technologies, the acts will not be subject to the control if the purpose is for self use, and the technologies will be brought back without providing them to anyone else. As other e learning programs discuss what kind of attention is required in what sort of specific situations, check them as well. Distinguishing residents and non residents. You can see definitions of residents and non-residents here. The residency status according to these definitions should be determined by applying the classification above in the order of the underlined with red first and the underlined with blue next and finally those with no underline. For example, when we think of accepting an international student, this student is deemed to be a non-resident if he or she has stayed in Japan for less than six months. If the student has stayed in Japan for six months or longer, the student will be a resident. Now, when we think of accepting an international researcher, for example, this researcher is deemed to be a resident if he or she is hired by an academic or research institution in Japan and actually works there. If the destination of the transfer of technologies is the international student as an individual, the classification will be made according to the residency status of the individual. Meanwhile, if the technologies are transferred to an organization through the international student as an individual, the classification will be made according to the organization's residency status. Same rules also apply to international researchers. Penalties for legal violation Exporting or transferring the controlled goods or technologies without obtaining the license is subject to punishment by the Act. The criminal charges can be imprisonment of up to 10 years or a fine of 30 million yen against individuals or 1 billion yen against juridical persons. The fines can be charged against both individuals and juridical persons. The administrative sanctions can include prohibiting export of goods or transfer of technologies for up to three years. Even if the incident will not be subject to a criminal charge of an administrative sanction, you can get a red card or warning from METI, together with publishing in the METI website. The impact of the violation will go beyond the penalties and can be ruinous, leading to damaged image of the organization or social sanctions. As we have seen, the penalties can be charged not only against the violating researcher, but also against his or her academic or research institution. So, you need to ensure strict control of the technologies and goods upon a thorough understanding of the control system in order for your academic or research institution to avoid possible violations. This concludes the discussion of the outline of the security export control system.